Hey there again, Terry Caliendo, Dedicated Managers, back again for round number three of this um, this series, Vue.js Authentication with Auth0, Auth and I'm going to show how to use Vue.x and Vue Router along with it. Uh, I first gave an overview in the first video. The second video I gave an outline. Let's take a look at that outline. Uh, in this video, I'm going to set up a GitHub repository. I'm going to install, show how to install NPM or where to get it and uh, and view CLI 3. So we'll do those three things in this video. I'm going to get started right now. Let's take a look first. The first thing you want to do is you want to get a GitHub account. If you're, you know, it's, it's I, I prefer to develop and back up um, all the time. Um, and so that's what GitHub does for you. It allows you to keep a version history too. If you, if you really screw something up, you can always go backwards and, and see what the problem was, see the difference between where you're at and where you were. So it's great to use a repository system just to track your development, to, to back it up, and to um, um, you know solve any issues. So help yourself solve any issues, or to, to revert back if you've gone off in a direction that was just totally horrific. Um, so uh, if I'm just going to create a, a repository for this project. I think if I nope, I didn't get that right. Um, nope, we don't want that to be it. So let's do view. Um, what do we call on this? View auth0 with, this is probably way too long of a name, but I like being SEO friendly, Vuex uh, and um, view router. There we go. That's a good long name for a repository. View auth0 with Vuex. Uh, let's make it view. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, and a quick description. We'll basically take this thing and say uh, view um, view authorization using auth zero with view x and view router. Good enough. Fix that. All right. So I have the uh, I have the paid version. Uh, so I have private repositories, but you can always go public if what you're doing isn't uh, you know if it's commercial or you're just learning and you're looking to store it somewhere. You can do a public repository for free. I do not want to initialize the repository because I am going to um, create uh, from Vue CLI, which is going to have its own Git stuff. And so we'll push the initial git to the um, to the repository. So we don't want to initialize it with a um, a git file and all that stuff. So that's about it. Just I'll click create repository, and there it is. There's your repository. Um, you can uh, there's this is where where you'll clone it from if you do any cloning, um, and and whatnot. So that's it for that. Next thing is npm. Uh, NPM is Node Package Manager, and it, we use it, I use it a lot to get shortcuts and, and programs, and basically install the the um, the View CLI three. We're going to do that through NPM, and that's a, a framework builder uh, or a scaffolder that's going to build out our um, our View project for us and, and save us a lot of time with having out having to do anything too ex extensive. Um, so that's that's where we'll go next. So let's look at npm. npm is installed um, with Node.js. So you have to get Node.js on your system to get npm. So you go over to Node.js, and it'll tell you right when you right when you load it, and you don't know it'll recognize your system and tell you what to download. Um, doesn't really matter for this project what you download uh, because we're not going to use Node, and you're going to get the latest version of npm with it. So if we look at this, if you just Google npm versions. Um, Google will even give you a nice little table here that says, uh, you know, uh, well, that's that looks those top ones look old. Um, so here's the latest node version and here's the latest NPN version as of uh, November 27th. So 641 is the latest. So if you install it, if you install node, um, you should be able to run. Let me pull up a, a terminal here. So I've got a terminal here. This is Visual Studio Code. But the nice thing about it is it has a um, terminal in it, um, which you can just go to view, or probably terminal, new terminal. Um, so if I type in npm minus v, 
I probably get out uh, there it is six four one that are my that is my dogs whining in the background if you hear that uh, that's not me whining in the middle of my talking um, so where was I NPM minus V that's the latest version which we just looked up we're good there so that's what you need to do is you know install node make sure you got NPM minus V run it somewhere and, and make sure you've got the latest um, NPM version um, and you can get that if this is an old video. Oops, if this is an old video, you can get that by searching uh, NPM versions and then clicking on uh, previous the releases here. So then the next thing we need to do is install Vue CLI 3. And that is just search for Vue CLI. There it is right there. It'll pull up this page. CLI 3 is the most recent one according to uh, what we're seeing right now. So click get started. This will tell you something about it. You want to use this, this syntax here with the at symbol. And when we go to the installation page, you'll see here, now we're going to use NPM to install uh, Vue CLI 3. So that's where I would type right here. Let me just copy it so I don't have to type it and bore you with my long-winded typing. There, NPM install uh, minus G at Vue CLI. So you'd hit that. Uh, hit enter there. It would install it. I've already got it installed. So let's type in um, view um, minus minus version. And there we go. It's telling me I'm, I'm on three, the latest version. So that's what you got to do to get set up. Once you're, once you're at that point, that, that gets you to here. And so in the next video, we'll work on creating a new project and adding Beautify probably in that same uh, same video, which because they're pretty simple steps. So again, Terry Caliendo, Dedicated Managers. Um, find us here, dedicatedmanagers.com. Contact us if you need any help with anything or you want to offload a project or you need somebody to manage a project. Whatever you need, we can do it all for you. Technology consulting, that's what we do. Um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to us here. We're trying to grow that subscriber count, trying to get over 100. Going to throw a little party when we hit 100. Um, click subscribe and follow us if you want to keep getting these videos as they come out. Currently have uh, a few playlists going. I went crazy on the real-time database here. Um, did a, a WordPress project using my new favorite editor, Oxygen, and now this project. So please subscribe, contact us. See you in the next video.